In my last episode, I improved the world generation in my C++ Minecraft clone a little bit, but it still looks pretty empty. Today, I decided to improve it by creating a surface feature system to add trees, grass, and flowers to the world generation. Now, surface features seem pretty simple at first. All you need to do is figure out where surface features should be placed and then place all the blocks in that feature. We can do this using simplex noise to determine where to place a feature and then using a block array to determine where to place blocks. However, there's a big problem with this. What about features that are placed in between chunks? I decided to solve this by simply checking the area around around the chunk that would be in range of the feature being tested for. This way, all the blocks that need to get placed get placed even between chunks. There are some problems with this that'll come up in the future, but this works fine for what I'm doing in this video. So that's the idea, now we just need to implement it. I did most of this live on Twitch, so if you want to see future development, link will be in the description. I started by trying to set the first block in a chunk to air to test the overall system. So this is going to be a struct. We're just going to do an unsigned in block surface features. We're just copying this. <laughs> This is incomprehensible. Okay, let's try this. I don't know if this is working. <laughs> so we're gonna replace this with air and hopefully every zeroth block of every chunk should be air. Okay, or not. So I don't think it's working. <laughs> I don't know, here's just like a singular air block. Ah, ah. Yeah, I think it's working. I think it's working. I then used noise to set the positions and added some stone to the features. Okay, it does. I think it's working. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I feel like this wasn't really supposed uh, to happen stone's supposed to be in the ground <laughs> not in the i tried fixing the height issue ah that didn't work there we go okay now it's working let's start out with wood i don't have like an actual photo editor or anything so i kind of just have to like do it in here oh no <laughs> okay here we go we're doing photo p.com and this is gray <laughs> do that select pixels mask okay there we go so now that'll work, hopefully. Look at that. Okay, so now we've got leaves and stuff and we can finally move on with our lives, which does mean that we're gonna have to change everything because right now everything's gonna be completely broken. What am I looking at? <laughs> uh, pain. Look at that, we have logs now. So that's like half of a tree, right? Next, I created the block array to hold the world feature blocks. This is definitely the least efficient way I could have possibly done this. All right, that's okay. I know this is incomprehensible, but that's what we're going with. These aren't squares anymore. Oh no, local X, no this is not local X, this is feature X. No, we're just doing FX. Let's see if this works or if it's gonna crash. And it crashed, that's great. <laughs> Plus, oh, that's probably because we have, <laughs> let's see. This is definitely not working. <laughs> I'm only seeing air. Oh, cause we're doing FC. <laughs> there we go, look at that. We have logs on top of air just like what we wanted so now if we do this it isn't gonna crash <laughs> oh no why did it work for so long and then crash i'm not gonna worry about it right now this is working we have logs this is good enough for me Dude, one two three four so this is four now so now we have more logs we need leaves that's good so now we have that zero four Four, so we just do two of these and then three leaves. Oh, we have more than four. <laughs> Why does it crash? <laughs> it shouldn't have crashed. Yeah, it's uh, the leaves are breaking it. Does it or does it work if it's all? It does. It do <laughs> it's the leaves. What is this error? <laughs> it was just working. <laughs> After working on this leaves issue for like 20 minutes, I got this mysterious linker error despite not changing any code. So I tried deleting the build folder to completely recompile the project. Didn't do anything. Now it's working. I didn't, all I did was delete. I'm not gonna question it. I didn't do anything except for delete. I deleted the x64 build, build folder. I deleted the build folder and it started working. Nothing else changed. <laughs> then I tested out transparency. Okay, so this is RGBA, right? So if frag color or oh, sorry no back for text results equals texture text cord if text results dot a is equal equal to zero discard it should just not draw that pixel oh <gasps> it works <laughs> We have transparency. I got the basic surface feature system working. However, with this huge feature, you can see that it still isn't working between chunks. But after doing some math, I got that working too. Here's the final code. It's quite long, but most of it is just calculating how many blocks need to be checked and placed. You can view all this code in the repository in the description. With this working, I just need to make proper trees. Three, four. So we want 
four logs and then there would be two above it and these would come down one more this is a 2d array and we're trying to represent a 3d object uh to make it did make an l each one of these is like a complete x right and then this direction is y and then this direction is z this is really annoying to try and do so then that would look like a cross look at that it's beautiful that's like a little plus sign at the top of the tree oh now we really made a cross look at that <laughs> okay so it looks like the offset's still correct and now we've got like this like double plus sign thin thing i don't look too far into that um see this is this is my problem is that this is like we're trying to represent 3d in 2d which was yeah that was quite a sentence what do minecraft trees look like all right, never mind. I guess Minecraft doesn't want to open. What are these blocks? <laughs> Why does it keep opening multiple Minecraft launchers? And then the other one just, like, fails. Like, there's another one open on this screen. Two of these things open. This one's just not loading, though. Right, I guess I'll just look up a picture of a Minecraft tree. I, I think my internet's <laughs> just not working. <laughs> yeah, I can't even load a picture of a Minecraft tree. Like, I would like to just... I just want to, like... Yeah, so this is just not working. Can I open Minecraft Bedrock Edition? We can... We can open Bedrock Edition. <laughs> I guess, you know what? Bedrock Edition for the win, I guess. Uh, yeah, thanks, Minecraft Launcher. You're so fantastic. It's, it's just not working. This is not loading, though. This is why we can't have nice things. I didn't think that was going to be a problem this stream. I think it's supposed to be more like this, though. This is a Minecraft tree. <laughs> the progress bar ticked up slightly. <laughs> oh, no. What do you mean? Check your internet connection. It's a single player world. Okay. It's, um, we got the tree now. I don't know. Now that we have trees, it's time to make the leaves and the trees properly transparent. The basic transparency I had before was done by simply discarding pixels that have an alpha value of zero. This works, but now we have invisible logs because it's still not generating these faces, even though they are visible now. To fix this, we have to add a transparency variable to our block struct and then check for this variable when determining whether or not to create a face. This, of course, did not come without issues. So that is exactly one face, uh, but that should actually fix one of the issues anyway. Oh no, <laughs> it did not quite fix the issue and what's going on here whoa what in the world they're like whole chunks that every north face is is showing that looks kind of cool though oh because we're doing chunk block north uh, that's why <laughs> yeah so we were like getting the north block like whatever this is that was the index of the chunk data instead of getting the actual north block all right so now we should see that these guys actually get faces uh well the leaves got faces uh log here <laughs> it's showing it's nice. I like it. Um, if you look at it from any other angle, though, it doesn't quite work. So we're going to need to fix that. Okay. So now it should work on all sides. Every face should be rendering correctly. Look at that. Trees are working. Now the logs are visible through the leaves. As you probably noticed, I also fixed the tree placement noise so that they don't appear in groups anymore. I did this by increasing the frequency of the noise. In Minecraft, tall grass and flowers have a unique shape. These are what I like to call billboard blocks. These are relatively simple. We need another variable on our block struct to specify whether or not it is a billboard block. If it is, we need to create four faces so that they are visible from any angle. That's the idea, now it's time to implement it. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't the right block actually. Look at that, that doesn't look right, but it is there. It looks like the color is not even remotely close <laughs> to the grass. Color. This needs to go from one corner to the opposite corner. I kind of feel like that isn't gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> We're rendering one face. It was the wrong axis to rotate. So I wasn't quite right either, but that definitely looks interesting. There we go. It's wide, very wide. That's an improvement. And here, these can no longer be charged, just now need to be floats. If we look here, we can clearly see that that's starting at zero and going there. So this needs to be scaled. Actually, no, this is correctly scaled. Then it should be centered. Centered and scaled correctly. Oh, nope. <laughs> I guess it's about right. Beautiful. Okay, so that's grass blocks properly in implemented, besides the lighting, of course. So now it just doesn't have anything here. Ooh. That's fancy. I was talking about right. Mask that. Nope. That's too too green. I think that's pretty decent. 
You can take around the same color. That's good. I like that. With billboard blocks implemented, we can very easily add taller grass and flowers. I gave each of them slightly different frequencies, chances, and offsets so that they wouldn't replace each other. There's this issue where features get placed in midair due to caves. We can fix this by checking for whether or not the base block is a cave before placing it. If it evaluates to a cave block, it doesn't place the feature. There's also this issue where if tall grass is placed on the same block as low grass or flowers, it places itself on top of that block. This is annoying, but I'm not really sure how to solve this yet because it would require us to know where other world features are being placed, which comes with some huge issues. I'll leave this one for a future episode. I wanted to do a cinematic outro, but my current camera movement options aren't suitable for cinematic shots, so I decided to add a new one. I created a new direction called forward no Y and set it to use that direction whenever the player holds space and W at the same time. Then I added that movement type in my camera class. All it does is take the forward vector, set the Y movement to zero, and then normalizes it to get the final vector. Then we just use that as normal. With these additions, the world is looking much less empty, but we're nowhere near done yet. My next goal is to add water to the game. After that, I want to add biomes. That's all I have time for this video though. If you'd like to support me and help me make more of these videos, I set up a Patreon. I would greatly appreciate you checking it out, and if there are any benefits you'd be interested in seeing, let me know. As always, the Project GitHub is in the description as well as links to my Twitch, Discord, and Patreon. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Thank you.